Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at opening up a another file using Ajax. So I've got my file over here called include.ink.php and this contains PHP code. Because we're talking about um, Ajax relative to PHP, we have created this, well, I've created this PHP document called include.ink.php which has PHP code inside it. So eventually, as we progress through the Ajax series, what we're going to look at is opening um, um, a file uh, that's going to, say, maybe grab some values from a database or something like that. And eventually, we'll learn how to produce dynamic content. So when a user, say, moves the mouse button, we update, um, say, index.php page with relevant data, or when we type something, we update with it with relevant data from a database. But before we do this, what we need to think about is how we're actually going to open um, a file without refreshing the page. So as you know, in PHP, we can use things like um, include, and then we can uh, include a specific a specific file. So we've got include ink.php. But this is useless to us because um, it's only including the contents of the file. We're not triggering anything. What we could do is we could create a form um, under here or a button under here which would uh, take us to the page. So we could say input type equals submit. And then we could say on click. And then we can incorporate some JavaScript in here. So we could say window.location equals index.php. Um, show equals uh, include for example and then what we could do is we could come down and we could say if is set dollar underscore get because we're passing a get variable called show so the get variable show could go in there then we could say include oh sorry <laughs> it's a combination of include and echo there uh, include dollar underscore get show so what we can do is we can um, well, we could pass uh, include.ink.php there. So we're passing a variable through when we click on a button, include.ink.php is then going to be checked to see if some, anything exists, and then it's going to include the relevant file. So here, what we can do is if we go back to our page, we can click on submit, and that will include um, our file. However, we want to do that without refreshing the page. You notice if we go back and we click on submit, you see that we've refreshed the page, and we've come up with, uh, we've, we've basically gone on to index.php again but with this show variable here so what we want to do is we want to achieve a similar effect to this however we don't want to refresh the page and we're going to be dealing with uh, divs as well so we're going to have a, a, a div and uh, this is going to be filled with some content from include.ink.php so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a standard outline for an HTML document. So I'm going to create some head tags, some body tags here, and obviously our root HTML tags at the end. Inside head, we're going to be put, putting all the JavaScript. Um, inside body, we're going to insert the button uh, and the div itself. So we're not actually writing any PHP in this file, but the point of the tutorial is to show you how we can use Ajax to um, load in this include uh, file, which is a PHP uh, document and has PHP code inside of it. So the first thing we want to do is create what we want to show on the website, uh, on the page rather. So I'm going to put another input button and that's going to be submit like we like I've just shown you in the previous example. However, um, this time I'm going to say on click equals load. And this is going to call a function that we're going to write up here in a minute in our head um, uh, in, inside some script tags. So uh, we're going to declare that we want to uh, write some JavaScript code. And then we're going to uh, call this function when we, when we click the button. So we'll test this out in just a moment. But for now, as well, I want to put a, an, an ID and I'm going to give it the, uh, a div, sorry, and I'm going to give it the ID a div. Um, and then we're going to close it there. We're not going to write any content in here. Okay, so we're not writing any content in here. We're going to rely on us clicking this button, the load function up here, loading content into this div, and we're going to do that without refreshing the page at all. So you may have gone onto a website where it says maybe uh, click here, or, or there's um, a column of uh, options, and you click it, and it instantly gives you the content on to the right of it. This is uh, very similar. Uh, 
thing that we're doing here, but we're loading in this include.ink.php into this div again without refreshing the page. So let's uh, come up here and create our scripts tag. So script type equals, and that's text forward slash JavaScript. So we can tell our browser that we've got um, JavaScript code in here. Um, now let's give this a test. So I want to test when we click on uh, this button here uh, that we um, execute or call a function called load. So let's just set up our load function here. So we've got function load here. We're not giving it any parameters, but what we are going to do is just alert work. So we know that everything works. So when we click on this button, we've got this on click event here. Then we're going to call the function load. We're going to come up here, call this function, and we're going to uh, create an alert. So let's um, go back to our index.php page. Okay, so we've got our submit button. We click it and we get a uh, message saying works. So we know that everything works. Now what we can do is get on with creating our Ajax code. Now we need to do a variety of checks. This is pretty standard code and I'm not going to explain uh, exactly how it works and what each function does um, but follow along the example and you'll generally get an idea of what's happening. I will explain most elements as much as I can possibly explain in the video uh, without confusing myself. Um, we'll go along and we'll write this out. 